My name is Rune Wappenhag and I work in the marketing department of Emerson Process Management and what I'm going to show you in this video is how Delta V and PlantWeb uses the intelligence of field devices to improve the operations of a plant. What we have here in the screen we can see we have a motor and a flow controller operated off of this micromotion transmitter. I'm going to start up this flow and there might be a little bit of noise in the background as the valves open and closes and the, and the motor starts. So we've started the motor and we can see the flow is uh, starting to pick up. The RPM is increasing and the flow is stabilizing around one gallon per minute. So if we switch to the engineering mode, we can look here in the Delta V control studio. We can look at this flow loop in control studio. We see we have the analog input block and the PID block and the output block for the, for the RPM of the motor. What I'm going to do next is to start to inject air into the flow of this uh, fluid. Normal flow transmitters can't pick up and train air uh, running in the flow loops. And instead of telling you that there is a, a trained air, it would actually start uh, changing the measurement and give you wrong measurements of the actual flow in the, in the loop. Now, obviously, since we have entrained air here, this is not a problem with the actual uh, flow. It's a problem with the measurement of the flow. And that's what we want to capture. So next, I want to show how we could use diagnostics to avoid the ramp up that we saw of the motor in the previous example. We have a stable flow a little bit lower than one gallon per minute and, and I'm going to introduce the same air into the flow and we're going to see we have the same failure of the transmitter itself. But this time we have configured uh, the configuration that it will actually look at the diagnostics coming from the device indicating that we have a bad reading because we're uh, having entrained air and it will notify the motor control that we have a bad reading and thus will prevent it from trying to ramp up the motor. So I'm going to switch over to the engineering interface here. We're going to look here. This is the engineering interface of the flow loop. We can see analog input that has the input for the flow transmitter. We can see the PID function block that has the output to an output function block that drives to the motor control center. And if I introduce the entrained air again, and especially notice the, the input signal from the analog input function block is going to turn to a, a question mark indicating uh, the status is telling us that we don't know if this signal is a valid reading. And if you look at the output of the PID block, it is stuck right now at around 1400 RPM. So next, we're going to switch over to the operator mode and show how this will appear to an operator. Notice the red background around the flow here. This is an indication that we have a bad reading. So the operator f right away knows we have a bad reading from this transmitter. Also noted the alert we have in the lower left corner here. This is a plant web alarm that comes from the device and shows us that we have slug flow. This is basically a terminology used for having entrained air in a fluid flow. Uh, and so the operator gets the information right away that something is wrong and the control system automatically puts the loop into manual so that the operator now can operate the plant manually depending on his or her knowledge of the process itself. So what we've seen here is a good example of how diagnostics can be used to operate the plant better. We've seen in this last example how an intelligent field device has told an operator that there's something wrong with the measured variable and furthermore the control system has used that information to turn a motor control from automatic to manual to prevent any me mechanical failures or equipment failures uh, and so forth. So this way we've used the diagnostics in the field devices to inform the operator and maintenance personnel that something is wrong and they can take it from there without having to shut down the plant.